because that could be the last time that I ever see my finger. What is up guys? My name is Shane Danger. I'm here today in this neighborhood that is all 10 to 20 million dollar homes. It is absolutely crazy, this neighborhood. But there's actually a beach down here that's kind of locals only, local secret. I can't show it to you guys, say the name or anything like that, but it has everything you could ever look for in a beach. It has a cliff jump spot. It has a surf break. You can go diving here to catch fish. You can go fishing here to catch fish. And it's really just has everything all encompassing, really amazing beach down here. And it's really cool to hang out here too. We're gonna go down. We got a tip that someone lost a gold bracelet here. I mean, you can already see from the title what's gonna really happen. We found something out there that needed our help. So we went and we saved it. And it's a crazy mission that we went on. There was huge waves. It was just absolutely insane. But we did our part to help protect the ocean life out here. And we made some friends along the way. If you guys are new to the channel, go down, hit subscribe, ring the bell. It's the best way to make sure you get notified every single time I post a new video. And if you're coming from TikTok, I want you guys to put one of the little fishy emojis. You know there is a puffer fish emoji. It has been brought to my attention that there is a puffer fish emoji. So put the puffer fish emoji if you guys are coming from TikTok. So let's go get in the water in front of these eight to $12 million homes. If you guys know anything about YouTube CPM, I'm saying it because real estate ads have the best CPM. So let me know if you got a real estate ad and it actually worked. Okay, so we're in the water. I just wanted to show you guys how murky and wavy it is out here. This is definitely not my favorite place to dive. So I have swam here before, but it was a while ago. So I kind of knew where I was going, but kind of just figuring it out, looking back, making sure Brittany's okay. And then I found this hole and I was like, okay, maybe there are some shells in here. I want to check really quick, look around, didn't see any shells. Still kind of looking just to see if there's anything cool over here and not really anything cool. And then I found this tunnel. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna dive through the tunnel because that sounds sketchy and exciting. And it was sketchy and exciting, who knew? Uh, so I got through the tunnel, no problems there. It was, you usually don't wanna do tunnels during waves. And then I saw this puff boy and he was so big, he looked like a dang dog. I thought it was a French bulldog down there. And then I realized that something was stuck in his mouth. And I kept looking closer and I was like, why is he swimming around like that? And then finally I realized he was hooked on the fishing line and fishing weights were holding him down, trapped on the reef. Who knows how long he's been down here. And I was like, I gotta rescue him. Oh, that was so cute. It's stuck. Yeah, it's got a hook in its mouth and there's a bunch of fishing weights and fishing line. And of course I don't have my knife. I'm afraid to grab it. I'll have to hold his face. I don't know if he'll like that. So I had no idea what to do. I went down and tried to see if I can grab onto him but he swam away when I put my hand towards him. I didn't want to freak him out any more than I had to or any more than he was already. So I was just trying to figure out what I can do, trying to analyze the situation. I might go ask those kids if one of them has a knife. You can stay here, but I have, I have the position marked, so you can keep looking around if you want. So I saw these kids. I went and asked them really quick, but they didn't have anything. Can you touch them? And Brittany said that she touched him and was able to even grab the hook. And so I was like, okay, maybe he'll let me get closer than what I previously believed. So I grab on, the wave is pushing us around like crazy. And then I'm just trying to see what I'm working with here. He's got a sea urchin spine stuck to his eyes. So he's just having the worst day ever. And I grab the hook and I start to try to work it out and it's barbed so it's really really difficult to get out of there i'm like doing everything i can to move it around to try to get it to move to see if i can grab onto his face and he opens his mouth even wider as if he's trying to bite me and you can see those teeth are looking sharp and strong so i don't want to end up with my finger in his mouth because that could be the last time that i ever see my finger so I'm just trying to move him around. Brittany goes to grab him. I'm like, no, don't grab him because I don't want her to get pit, uh, poked in case he inflates. And then all of a sudden he's a big puffed up puff boy with all of his barbs sticking out. So I'm trying to keep us safe while also saving this guy. And I'm just trying to shake him around, see if I can shake that hook out. But it is so big and it must have a huge barb on it. So it's just not going anywhere. And I am like trying to think of what else I could do to get this thing out because I know it's right there, it's so close, and maybe I could land him and like get him up on shore and do it like that, but I'm like, no, I don't wanna do that. He'll be so stressed out, and I'll have to swim him really far to get back to shore, so I'm just trying to see what I could do if there's any way to get this thing, and then the fishing hook almost hooks onto me. We almost end up being two fishies stuck out there, hooked up, and then I start to realize, what if I can untie it down here and I look and it's not tied that tight, so I start to work on it. And 
I'm thinking that if I can just untie it, then he'll be swimming around with like two feet of fishing line hanging from him, and it's not that bad. He'll at least be able to live. And then he's just begging Brittany, please help me. Please, this guy is pulling me, yanking on me. He doesn't know that I'm trying to help him because um, I'm sure he would prefer to just have it cut off. But I'm finally making some progress on the knot. I pull a big loop right there and then just a little bit more. That actually took like four or five minutes. It felt like an eternity getting bashed around by the waves. And I just have one overhand knot left and it's just a little bit more. It always feels like it's just about to go and then it doesn't quite go because that string was so hard to untie. If they actually tied a tight knot, I never would have been able to undo it. So it's really lucky that the knot was not tied tight and I was able to get it out. And then I finally get it undone and he's free and I just hang on to him for a second to wave goodbye to my friend. And then I release him and then he's off on his way. And I just wanted to show you guys the other perspective really quick, saying goodbye to my friend and then he swims away says thank you to Brittany and I for our help in rescuing him. Well, we saved an innocent fish's life. And now all I have left to do is clean up the fishing line. And when I go and look at it, it's just wrapped all crazy on this reef that I'm like, I don't think I can do this. So I go to wrap it around my hand and try to pull on it. And it pulls tight and then it catches on my finger. So I have to let go of it. Otherwise rip my finger off. So I'm like, oh no, I dropped it back into the coral, but it was all good. I was able to pick it up right away. And then this time what I'm going to do is I'll wrap it around the fishing weight. So I'll have something hard to grab onto a high friction hold and then I'll pull on it. And then finally it pops and I'm able to take it off and take this portion home. I had to leave a lot of it just because there were so much waves out there. Brittany found this lure. So I put the lure in with the fishing weight, put it in my pocket. Here's the zone of death that the lady wanted me to look for her bracelet. There's no way that I could swim in there. I found this golf ball a water bottle or a soda bottle, I guess. And then Brittany found that soda can, kicked me in the head, and then found another thing, and then a Gatorade bottle. And I was like, uh, excuse me. Dang, Brittany, you stole all my treasure and kicked me. Nice. Why are you me? Because <laughs> I was getting the treasure. I got more. All right, great flex. Whoa. And then this water bottle was really fun to squirt out. So I just shot all the water out. Kind of looked like when people do the Mentos and Diet Coke. Okay, so then we found a puff bar and I thought it'd be funny to shoot it out of that. And then these are the guys that were jumping. I asked them if I could go below them to find the trash that was there. So then I found whatever this weird piece of plastic was. And then I think I found a golf ball and a bottle cap and show that really quick. And then I was like, thanks for letting me go. And they're like, hey, can we do a jump for your video? So this is called a bomb train. So the bomb is where they make as much splash as possible. Some really amazing jumps right there. Cheers, guys. When uh, you go over there looking for stuff, I like said to those guys, I was like, hey, you guys want me Gatorade? And then they started laughing. <laughs> and then I like waited a second. I was like, oh, or you want a soda? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, like we like, out. I know, it's kind of funny. Oh my god. That's so funny. Okay, so it's good to pick up all that trash underneath that popular jump spot. And then there was like this weird fish head or something. I don't even know what that was. And then I had these two golf balls and they were so big, they wouldn't fit in my pocket. I've never had a problem with having such big balls before. And then I found a fishing weight, put it in my bottle, and then Brittany swimming back and she wanted to swim in like this for some reason. I was watching her because it was so weird because the water was only like a foot deep. And I was like, why are you doing that? And then I was like, high five. And then here's all the trash that we found. Found that golf ball, some fishing line, put the golf ball away and that's it. We saved the puffer fish today. What did you think? It was the saddest thing I've ever seen. It was really sad. He was I just there. So bad he he looked right. He looked at me in the face and said, yeah. "Please help me." And then, so Britt didn't notice a line right away and was like, "Wow, that's so cute." He swam right up to you, and I was like, "How's that cute?" Because I had already seen the line. And then I was like, "No, he's stuck." It was so cool that we were able to save him because uh, he was. I don't even know what would have happened. He would have just had to hope that someone dropped a carrot in the water somewhere. Because I think pufferfish only eat carrot. But the person that lost their bracelet and sent me on this mission today. They Thank you, kind of, because we wouldn't have been able to save the puffer fish without being sent on that mission. So it actually worked out really well, kind of serendipitous fate thing. But yeah, so that was cool that we just ended up here right place, right time, and we're able to save the puffer fish. So I'm just grateful that we got to do that. And sad, I guess, that we didn't find the person's bracelet, but it was in kind of a pit of death. So I don't know if I'll ever be able to get it. Anyways, thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Hit like if you did. You wanna see more cleaning the ocean, saving the fishies, and trying to find people's stuff and never actually finding it. We have only ever found that one iPhone and nothing else. Okay, that's it. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Bye.